Let's talk about Switch Stick in Madden 25 and why this is a feature that you need to kind of understand, not just be able to use, but also be able to understand why this feature is good and how you can leverage the feature. So we're going to just come out in a basic dollar defense here. Now I have, uh, we're going to come out in DB Fire 2. I have a full ebook on this in our school community, school.com slash Cody Ballard. If you guys want to check out the full ebook, teaches you everything that I do defensively. It also gets you access by being a member of that community. You get access to everything. You get access to all of our college stuff, all of our Madden stuff, all the ebooks, all the updates, everything. Uh, and you can sign up at the link in the description below. But let's take a look at this DB Fire 2. And so how to use Switch Stick. So basically the simple answer to how to use Switch Stick is you're going to flick the right joystick in the direction that you want to Switch Stick if your user is on a zone. If your user is on a blitz, you're going to hit circle and point the left joystick in the direction. So like here, and then you would basically switch stick back to like normal with the right stick. Okay. So the purpose of switch stick is it allows us basically to carry routes, um, to, to switch, uh, across fields and stuff like that. So now let's talk about why, uh, you need to kind of understand this defensive ability and this, and, and how you can really use it. So one of the best ways to use, switch stick is to take away a route combination like something like this so if you see here i'm going to be using on this right side and if i see this corner route i can switch onto the soft squat and basically take this away so you know essentially we'd set the blitz up and then we go we see corner route we're going to switch to that right side and then we can just take that away now where I think this really gets interesting is you can kind of put coverages around your switch stick based off of how you're how you're capable of switch sticking to certain things. So, for example, one of my favorite coverages in the game right now is something basically like this, where we can essentially with our users with our user here, we can switch across the field. So instead of having this guy in a hook curl to the left, I'm going to put him in a hook curl to the right. Or another thing that I might want to do is let's say I man him up to the tight end. So if they run verticals, what I can do here, if I see verticals, I'm just going to switch and let that guy go man with the tight end. And now I can take the crosser and I'll show you this in instant replay, kind of show what this looks like, what, what this looks like. Don't worry too much about the blitz. I'm not even really setting up the blitz. I just want you to see kind of the coverage behind it and what, why this is such a big feature. So you see here, and I'm kind of game planning here, but this is going to be really good because you see I'm using on this left side linebacker. I have him manned up on the tight end at the snap of the ball. I say, oh, I see they're running verticals. Well, I know I have that hook crawl on the left and that hook crawl is not going to carry that. He's not going to be able to play the crosser as good as I could. So I'm just going to switch to that hook curl. This you see, he's going to continue to run to man the tight end and take that away. And now I'm able to basically take this tight end away, and then I'm able to user this guy and carry him up the field. And basically, you know, you see this is a pretty decent way uh, to defend verticals. Another reason why switch stick is good and how you can use it is to do things such as taking away like a one play touchdown, for example. So let's say kind of in that same situation, and we'll really just kind of basically go through that same coverage defense and, you know, maybe we do something like just put the sky on a hook curl to the left. All we're going to do here is you're going to see that now we're just going to see this going through. Oh, we see, we see it's double post. We're just going to switch onto this hook curl and take this post up because we know that that's a cover three beater. This honestly makes cover three one of the most versatile coverages in the game. Even though cover three can be bombed probably the easiest out of most coverages, you see how we're able to basically uh, just switch to where we want to go. You know, maybe another example of that could be, you know, maybe I man this guy up to the running back. If Let's say this was actually like something I was trying to run. Let's say I, I man this guy up to the running back. Now, what am I intending to do? I'm intending to switch on to this guy or this guy, depending on the route combination, right? So you're going to see here. And if the, if, the, if the running back stays in a block, then I'm just basically going to stay on my user, right? But if they run double post, you say, oh, they run double post. Okay, I can switch here and take this away. And you kind of see how this can all, all work out for you. Uh, another thing that I like to do, let's say I was uh, defending double post specifically, this could be a really, really good coverage defense for it, is basically this, but you would want an outside quarter on this right side, and I'll kind of explain why. So this tight end wheel will get open late if you don't have that. So you see here, 
and then I'm able just to kind of switch stick onto the hook curl and take that away, and then you see that that quarter is going to play there. So this is essentially how you use uh, switch stick, right? Now, the other thing I want to go over is, like, let's say they run, like, a crossing route to the left side, you know, something like this, and we'll just uh, block our tight end. So we have kind of a high-low read here to the left side. Well, what we what we want to do here, this is why I love to man, I love manning the running back up as one of my core adjustments because, like, let's say we're doing something like this and we read, oh, you know, they're running the, you know, streak or the crosser flat combo, right? So I kind of come over here. Oh, I see that. Okay, I'm going to bail back. And then I can just use her this guy and just take this crosser away. So this this ability or this this like uh, tool new mechanic in the game allows us to do a lot with our coverage even though you know we're really you know kind of just doing some simple things like for example another cool tip uh, with this would be like let's say I wanted to play like a cross band defense so I'm gonna cross band the bunch side so maybe it would look something like what you see here okay this is kind of an example of a really good cross band defense but what we want to do is we want to have you know, maybe this guy in a half or, you know, this like basically just something over here to the right side, whatever it is that we want to put him in. Or we could put him in an outside third here to the right side. And maybe we want to put this guy in a curl flat. Right. The reason that this is important is because what's what's open on this? What's open with how we're playing the coverage? Well, the main thing that is open is going to be the middle of the field from the solo side. And so this is where I like to maybe put this guy on, either man him up to the solo receiver or kind of back to what I was saying where we man him up to the running back. My intention the entire time is if the if, is, is to basically switch off of him. So let's put this guy on a hook curl, and we'll kind of exemplify this. So you see we're kind of playing this coverage right here. You know, and let's say they run, you know, a – I'm trying to think of a setup that would actually be good with the post route – Let's say they run like a post route from the solo receiver, and then they run like um, I'm trying to think how I would run the smash return setup, but basically, you know, we could just even just do something like let's just do the double corner. So we got the stemmed corner, we have the deeper corner, and then on the back side here we might run a post with a wheel uh, or a table route, for example, right? All kinds of different things you could do, but in general, something like this, right? Okay. So as you look at this play, the main thing that can get open is that post route. Now, very rarely in bunch do people run post routes. A lot of times it's a streak, a C route, a deep, a speed out, something like that. So what we're able to do uh, with, with this play is we're able to say, okay, the running back's on a route. Okay, I'm going to switch stick onto that hook curl, and then I can kind of go take that away. Another thing that I like to do that's kind of, um, kind of a little bit advanced is let's say here, you know, we're running, wanting to do like a scissor adjustment. Oops, I did not mean to man him up. Sorry. Move him back in. So we're going to do like a scissor adjustment here on the left side. Maybe we run something like this on the right side, right? This is actually a pretty decent defense for a bunch. So we know that that left side is going to struggle, especially if we shade outside. So what I like to do is take this user here. And I'm going to man him up to the slot because the slot can run a couple of routes. He can run the crossing route. He can also run a streak. And then the main thing that I need to worry about is really this, uh, really this like double post or something like that. So, you know, let's say they run something like, like this, for example. Well, what I'm able to do is I'm able to switch. So you'll see here, I'm going to switch onto the deep half. And now I still have that slot manned up, right? I still have that slot manned up. So that's kind of the idea with switch stick. Um, it's just basically thinking through like, where would you want to switch based off what they're doing? So if I'm over here, this gives me a ton of freedom to be able to switch onto the soft squat on the right. Right. So this is why, you know, maybe we want to do something like this on the left side, maybe throw this guy in a mid read. And then really just man this guy up on the slot. And the reason we want to man this guy up on the slot is let's say they run like a play like verticals. Let's man this guy up, actually. Now they think about it, let's man this guy up on the tight end, for example. Let's say they run like a play like verticals, and we'll man this guy up on a mid-read. Okay, we're going to see this. We snap. Oh, we see that. Okay, we're just going to switch on the mid-read. Take, take it all the way across. So in general, the theory is just understanding who you're going to switch on to, why you're going to switch on to them, and then switching on to them in, in, in the actual you know concept here. So one of my favorite things to do is if they're running the if they're running the um, the stem stuff, 
we're just going to switch and we're going to take away the deep route. So you see here, we see it, we switch onto it. We just take it away. We just take it away. Right. And then, and then we don't have to stay on it either. So like you could switch from one guy to another guy. So let me explain that real quick. So let's say, you know, we put our user in a hard flat and at the snap of the ball, we're going to run to the right, but we're kind of, you know, maybe they, maybe they're really good, right? Maybe they're running this double corner, but if you think about this double corner, what's the vulnerability here? Well, the vulnerability is there's no like hard flat threatening player, right? So snap of the ball, we just switch onto this and then we're going to switch back onto this. So you see how we can kind of like bracket both by switching onto two different players. So the biggest tip I can give you for, for switch stick is have an understanding of, of basically what are you going to put your user in so that when you switch off of him, he's still in a good position to play defense. And that could be as simple as just leaving him in this vertical hook, right? Leave him in the vertical hook. We see that we could switch here. You know, maybe we switch to the half just kind of depends on what they're doing, of course, but I do think that's a huge, huge tip. So like one of my favorites is manning the scalp on the tight end, having this outside third and hook curl combination. And then the snap of the ball, I'm just going to switch onto this hook curl a lot. Like this is one of my favorite ways to defend bunch, because if you think about bunch, right, the main way they're going to threaten you, like this is why I love this send five. So if you think about bunch, the main threat is going to be this tight end. So we're able to run a coverage defense like this right here. And then we can have this hook curl. So let's say, you know, we snap the ball. We're just going to switch. And now we steal a guy to the bunch side, basically. Right. So that's a, those are some different tips and tricks for switch stick. Wanted to drop kind of a little bit more of an in-depth tutorial about how to use it. I, I do think this is obviously one of the best features in the game. And we've barely scratched the surface of how good this feature ultimately is going to be. But you need to kind of understand the why behind the what before you start just kind of randomly switching. Otherwise, you're going to be giving up touchdowns. You don't really have to. And you don't always have to switch stick either. Right. You don't always have to switch stick. But, you know, something as simple as like they're running the corner. OK, let me switch stick on this on this hard flat. Right. So that's how to switch stick in Madden 25 and some of the advanced strategies that you can kind of utilize with that. One of my favorites is maining the scalp on the solo uh, receiver. And then this allows us to kind of play. A lot of different things. Um, we can put this third here, and then this allows us to do a little bit more with the safety. So if we wanted to do something like a crossman setup or, or whatever, um, you know, we could certainly do that. I love to put this kind of hook curl, and basically um, I can just use her, use her him. So anyways, that's Switch Stick. Hope you enjoyed the breakdown, and uh, hopefully it helps.